So this is the Sony a7 III. As you can see, it looks amazing. Uh, very pleasing to the eye. Beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> What's poppin' y'all? My name's Ian McQueenie and welcome back to my channel. Today, in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the videography side of my channel and I'm gonna do a quick review on a new camera that I just got in the mail today. If you don't know already, I'm a big videography and video editing guy, so um, if you're interested in that type of content later down the road, whether you want tutorials on video editing, videography, um, just anything in that category, make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know that you do and smash that like button so that I know that you wanna see more videos like that. But today I'm gonna be doing a little review on probably one of the best cameras out there, honestly. It's really good for uh, videography as it's mirrorless and um, it's probably just overall one of the best quality cameras that you could possibly get. Now keep in mind this bad boy cost me about three, no, not three, $2,500. So it was a bit pricey, but it was definitely worth the purchase. So you're probably wondering what the hell this camera is. So I actually have it right here. It looks like this. My cat's just making some noise down there. But it looks a little something like this. I don't know if the camera can see it that well. Basically, uh, it's a really good camera, and I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy. I'm just gonna fold this piece down. As you can see, these are all the different pieces that came in the box. Uh, you got the strap right here. Um, you got obviously all the manuals. I've not read any of these. Probably gonna have to to see how this camera works. Um, and then you got the charger, which is right here. Or no, this is the fucking. I don't know what this is. It's gotta be uh, some type of charger. And then this is the actual battery. The camera, obviously. You got the lens, hell yeah, I think this is 28, what is it, 28 to 70 millimeters. It's a great distance, by the way, and then it came with a lens hood. I had no idea it was uh, coming with, so that is sick. So I'm going to take all these different pieces, like the lens and the actual camera, and see if this battery is actually charged. But uh, I'm going to take them, put it all together, and uh, take a few test shots, whether it's a picture or video. And then after we get those all taken and situated, I'm going to do a full review afterwards. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we back. It's the next day. Unfortunately, it was a blizzard outside for the past, I don't know, 24, 36 hours. So I didn't get to do much outside. So I got some clips in the van. We were going to my grandparents' house. So I took some clips in there. And I also just took some random clips in the morning when I was making breakfast and just doing my morning routine. So here is a little montage of everything that I put together so you guys can see how high quality this bad boy is. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little montage. It was a little uh, clips of everything I've done in the morning and with my grandparents last night. So, as you can see, this camera is very high quality. Um, it can go up to 60 FPS, I believe, and it can be 4K. So, as you can tell um, by the looks of the video, it looked like a straight movie. So, this is a great purchase. Um, I did say, I don't know if I said it yet, it was $2,500 to get this bad boy, but it was definitely worth the purchase. There are a lot of capabilities on this camera, and I'm about to go over them with you in a few seconds. So without further ado, let's get straight into the details and the nuts and bolts of this camera. So this is the Sony a7 III. As you can see, it looks amazing, uh, very pleasing to the eye, beautiful masterpiece. So to turn this bad boy on, what you want to do is twist that little piece right there to on and then bam 
you got the uh, the live view going right there. And as you can see on the display, there's all these different things you can uh, edit. And just to change them, you can click this little button, which is FN. And uh, on here, you can go through everything, whether it's your focus mode, your focus area, the exposure composition, ISO, the metering mode, all this different stuff. It's right at your fingertips. And just to go around all these, you can just kind of move this dial to change the settings. You can set it at whatever you like. Now, a really cool feature about this thing is that you can basically pop out the screen to see it better. So what you can do is just take this little flab right here and, pop, and look at that. It's a lot closer to your eyes so you can see what's going on. And then, um, yeah, it's just a little cool feature that I thought I should let you guys know about. Now up here is the viewfinder and down here is the actual display. So whenever you cover the viewfinder, the screen goes black, as you can see. And uh, this is because it's a mirrorless camera. So whenever you look down this, or cover it up, the sensor gets covered and it makes the screen turn black. Now, honestly, I would recommend mirrorless now that I've used this. It's a lot easier to use and it's just a lot higher quality. So if you're considering getting a camera, um, this one is definitely at the top of my list. So make sure you check it out. Um, or just any mirrorless camera would work just fine. But no hate against DSLRs, they work just great. I just feel like these are a little bit easier to use. Now up here, you get all the different settings on the camera. Um, whether it's video or uh, manual mode, auto, all these different settings, and you can play around with them. And I believe there's a slow-mo option here, here too, so I'm going to check that out for myself. But to simply start recording, all you do is click this button, and it'll make that little sound. And then um, you just kind of do whatever you want, zoom in, zoom out, all that good stuff. And then when you're done, you just click the button again, and it stops. And then if you want to see the uh, final video, you click this little video button down here, and bam, you got your video. So as you can see, if you don't like the video, you can click the delete button, go up and click delete. And that's all we got on here. Now I'm gonna show you guys the settings by clicking the, me the menu. You can go uh, over here and see all the camera settings. There's about, uh, I don't even know, eight different pages of settings on here that you can go through. Now this is just a little tip I have. Whenever you're shooting video, I recommend shooting in manual as you can get a more creative focus. And um, basically, get a better idea of what you're actually shooting because if you put it on autofocus sometimes it catches um, something else that's closer to the screen so if you use manual you're able to choose which thing you're focused on and not just bouncing between different things uh, with autofocus so it's up to you what you want to use for a single subject it's okay to use autofocus but if you're using large crowd things i would definitely I recommend using manual focus. So that's just my 20 cents. So that was my quick little review of the Sony a7 III. As you can see, this is an amazing camera with amazing quality. So if you'd like to check out this camera for yourself, make sure to check the link in the description. It'll bring you to a whole list of different equipment that I recommend for content creation. And uh, I'm not saying you have to purchase these immediately, but they are my list of the best pieces of equipment that you can purchase for yourself for higher quality videos. Next video, I'm probably going to be reviewing the gimbal, which is also known as the Ronin. And it's basically a camera stabilizer. So I might be making a video on that real soon. So stay up to tune for that. So if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like and leave a comment down below as well as subscribe. So I swear, I'm awful at closing my videos. I don't know what's up with it. So once again, my name is Ian McQueen and I will catch you guys on the flip. Peace out.